We are outside Barnhill Arena after we just watched a little bit of red and white basketball tonight. This is David from Hoop Southbound, and I am joined by Caleb from Pig. Caleb, what was your general thoughts of tonight? Fantastic game, a lot of optimism, a lot of excitement with this team. I think the one thing that stands out to me is you've got to love the outside shooting that we saw tonight from these guys. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I think Jeremiah Davenport was absolutely on fire. I mean, what, combined, I believe him and Joseph Pinion were 8 for 10 at one point starting this game out early. I mean, it was, they were on fire shooting from three, which is a big cry from what we saw last season. Very true. This is going to be a way to spread the floor and open up the floor for guys to drive and get, get the ball into the big man that, you know, we can have the potential to score. Oh, yeah, for sure. So a couple of things that we were talking about that, before the game that we wanted to see tonight. I know the big one for me was I wanted to see Joseph Pinion on defense. We knew that he had a lot of offensive potential. We saw the offensive rating last year, had one of the best three-point shooting percentages on this team last season. And Joseph Pinion tonight, while there wasn't anything that truly stood out to me on defense, like he never got burned or he never put himself in a bad situation, it felt like. So I, I think that he may be making a larger contribution to this team this year. Yeah, very true. There's no glaring issues that you know were very prominent. You know. The guy that stood out to me, you've got to talk about if you're looking at this red and white game, Jeremiah Davenport. He came out with a hot start starting out, I believe, two of three or three of three from the deep, and then just continued that the whole game. He's a guy to look for potentially a lot of playing time this season, if not starting off the bench. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I mean, it definitely you saw the floor spacing difference and just how hot he can get from three. Uh, in this game, I can't wait to watch it against live action against another team who's scheming directly for you. Um, but, you know, from what we saw from the three point shooting, it was great. Uh, let's talk about Layden Blocker just a little bit. I thought he had a pretty good evening overall. It seems like Muss is kind of intent on running him kind of at the one spot as a point. Uh, what was your kind of your overall thoughts on Layden Blocker tonight? Yeah, very great performance for his first collegiate game, even though it was just a red white showcase. Um, I think one thing that stands out watching this game is he's got speed, he can beat you. You know, around the edge, you give him just an inch of space, he's going to take it all day and, you know, fly by you to the basket. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely saw that quickness on display when he made moves. Like, there was a loose ball, and then we saw him just get the opportunity to keep moving that ball around. And, uh, you know, just he, we saw him sprint to the basket. And, like, he made that play off his speed on, on that transition play. I thought it was great. I loved seeing it. Uh, we knew this kid had a lot of speed coming in. I would have liked to see a little bit more of the three ball from him as well this evening because that is one of the big question marks, uh, kind of. But like the other side of this that we were, I was talking about on my show was what would we see from Layden Blocker in comparison to these other guards? How did you think he compared? Yeah, I, I think he's right up there with some of these guys. You know, he may be uh, not as experienced as some of these other guys, and there could be some growing pains. You know, that happens with incoming freshmen. But I think he has a chance to play a lot of minutes for this team this year. Absolutely. Okay, so one of the things that you had talked to me earlier today was that you wanted to see what would we would get contribution-wise from Bayfall. What were your thoughts on Bayfall? Yeah, not a, not a just stellar performance. You know, I think a very, you know, decent performance for a guy that's coming in, a true freshman. You know, he's got length, he's got size, and he, he has the potential to, you know, put up some offense, but I, I think he's going to have more of a learning curve than some of these other guys will have. But, you know, if – Musk can develop him like we know he can develop guys. I think by the end of the season, you know, he could see a decent contribution to this team. Absolutely. You know, I, I was looking at the rotation. It's obvious to me that Jalen Graham or Makai Mitchell is going to be the starter. Um, and then I, it's kind of Bay Fall in that number three spot. I, he was very quiet tonight. We could definitely see some of that rawness. But, I mean, there's a ton of potential there. And you can tell if he puts a little weight on or something going forward, he's going to be a great number five option for the Razorbacks at some point down the road. I think he's going to be a great center for this team. Uh, what were some of your other thoughts that you had this evening? Yeah, you just mentioned it with Graham and Mitchell looking at those those top two guys in that 4-5 that spot. I think when you talk about those two guys, it's going to be situational with how much playing time those guys get. You've got Graham that's got a great offensive game, you know, improved on defense, but still might not be as good as what Makai does and can come in and just get, get you some stops and rebounds and, you know, can contribute maybe two or three points here and there. Okay, let's talk about the fourth quarter, because when we got to the fourth quarter, it kind of started out, and I turned to you and I guess, and I go, yeah, this kind of feels like the Devo Davis fourth quarter. What did you think of Devo in the fourth quarter? I thought he had excellent ball movement and assists all night, but it really felt like he took it to a different level there for a few minutes of the fourth. Yeah, that's very true. A very typical Devo, you know, end of the game, clutch situations. He's always seems to be there no matter what the situation is. You know, like you said, great ball movement, great pacing, spacing on the floor. You know, he hit 
a few threes in this game. I think this, this team all around has improved, especially from outside. And Devo is one of those guys who turned it on middle of the season last year. And I think we're just going to see a continuation of that this season. All right, let's talk about any final thoughts we have on this red or white game. Uh, tonight, I saw a lot of speed, a lot of ball movement uh, for a team that's, you know, being put together transfer wise. And then overall, I saw, you know, a lot of three point shooting tonight, which was crazy given where this team was last year. Yeah, I agree. The, the three point shooting, I think, is the main takeaway from this game to how improved it is. And that, that's just going to allow us to space the floor more. But I think this team this year is going to have a great combination of talent and experience between talented younger team teammates, as well as those guys that came in that have experience, you know, within, you know, you look at Tremont Mark had a quiet game tonight, not the biggest, but he's got that experience with Houston going to the tournament, making it all the way to the final four. So I, I think he, you're going to see a great mix in this team this year. Again, uh, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video tonight. We had a blast here at the Red and White game tonight. Uh, make sure you go follow uh, Caleb at uh, Wupig Weekly at his YouTube channel, and then we'd love for you guys to uh, give us a like or a, give us a like, a subscribe at Hoop Southbound. Of course, this video will be coming out on both our uh, different YouTube channels, so we can't wait for that to come out. It's going to be a blast. Um, yeah, Caleb. Yeah, just what David said. Feel tune in, subscribe. You know. We'll have, a, I'll personally have a lot of more Ridgeback content for you. David's going to put out a lot, ton of SEC content, which, you know, with a big year from the Ridgeback should include them very heavily. You know, you'll see David a lot of times coming on, you know, Woo Pig Weekly to talk Arkansas ball around the SEC. So it's going to be a lot of fantastic content coming out from both of us under the Variety Sports Network. So, you know, go check them out. Go check our pages out and get ready for this big basketball season. Yep. We can check you guys next time.